we're trying to make some progress on this job up here on the river. Man, it come a storm just out of nowhere, which we kind of knew it was coming. We were hoping we could get some logs drug out. They're hauling in gravel today for our road. I mean, it's getting ready to start really whipping. Wind's starting to pick up. It's raining hard. I'm going to try to keep dragging for a while. I mean, it's it's raining. See back through there? I mean, it's, it's really coming down. Dark in the timber. Can't hardly see anything in here. See the rain coming down. Through here, get weaved around. Probably not the smartest thing I've ever done. Drug logs in a storm like this, but nobody ever accused me of being a smart person anyway. That's some pretty good news about our ash, maple, and pecan markets today. I found a good home for all these logs. It's just a matter now of getting them cut and getting them, getting them drug out. I know a lot of you guys were saying about using our Mac to free haul these logs. And yeah, that's an option. And yeah, we've done things like that before. But the more I have to handle these logs, the less money I make. So that's why I'm building a road to deck area where trucks can get in and load them out themselves. Man, it's really coming down. My gosh. Let me get back up on this one. Really coming down. Yeah, we got a few out. A couple bad ones here. Just a little, they'll butt off a little bit, you know, with these ash wheel. They needed to be cut. All these trees, they, there's some honor trees in here they need to thin out. That's a good sign you need to go through there and do a little thinning. It was getting kind of slick and greasy, so I just decided to stop. But we got we got some footage out. Not as much as I'd liked, but I don't want to go slopping around on my log road. Get this big dude out of here. That's a big bur oak. Big bur oak. As you can see, I didn't get it trimmed up real good when I cut it the other day. And look at these leaves, look how big these leaves are. <laughs> these here are bigger yet. Big leaves. I like cutting them old rascals. Of course this whole laundry thing here, it needed to come out. A little crook in it there. It straightens up. And just things like that. Sometimes they need to be thinned. They just need to they need to come out now because they're not gonna in the overall grand scheme of things, they're not gonna do anything. So get them now, get them out of there, give the others a chance, get something out of them, clean up the timber, manage it. That come a real gully washer up here. Water standing in there now and said my log road, you can see it's greasy. That's not even the log road, that's just the main road, so Gonna have to dry a day or two. Have to dry a day or two. But at least we got a little something done anyway. Not as much as I was hoping. That seems to be the the way of the world with logging. Yeah, as I was saying, yeah, I mean, I, you guys leave in the comments about us taking our Mac back there and free hauling them out. Yeah, we've done that lots of times on jobs. We could do it this one pretty easy. We're not gonna. Like I said, logs like this, the less I handle them, the better. It's one thing when you handle walnut multiple times, but there's just not enough, there's not enough left on the table when you go to handle them stuff like this two or three times. So my goal is to open that road up with the dozer, widen it, straighten the corners, build a big deck area back there where we can turn trucks around. And somebody said something about road tractors. Yeah, most of these trucks are 18 speeds. They can get back through there loaded, unloaded. It's no big deal. We've done this stuff all the time. It's This is nothing new. Any of this is nothing new. This is all part of logging. So, yeah, this is not like some, some big new thing that's getting ready to go on. But I'm not going to drag these logs a half mile out here. It just, that will not work. And I don't want to bring our Mac up here and free haul logs because that's time consuming and that's not going to work either. We'll just have the trucks we're selling to. They can come right back in there, load, get them. We'll stack them up tall with the skid steer, pile them. If they want to 
pre-haul them out with just a 10-wheeler or 10-wheeler and pup. We'll have plenty of room where they can do it. It'll work out just grand. Just grand. Let's see if we can slop our way out of here. We might have a heck of a time getting out as muddy as it is. Like I said, the ash is cutting pretty good for the most part. Like I said, other than these two ornery ones here. But they'll, they'll clean up. Pretty good ash. A lot of it here. Is it coming again? Is that just wind? I think that's just the wind. We're getting some water since we're standing under this tree, but here come some more clouds, some dark clouds, so it's probably getting ready to rain again. All right, let's see if we can get out of here. We're, uh, we brought the attachments down here like an idiot. I didn't load them the first time I was down here. I don't know why, because I often do stupid things. That's that's the only reason I can tell, because I'm just an idiot sometimes. We're going to offload the attachments. I've got two more jobs pending down here. Uh, one of them I've got to meet with Friday morning to kind of go over some trees. I, I walked through this timber yesterday. He had some pretty good trees. Not a big bunch of them, but pretty good. But he's got some trees kind of around his yard, like what we just cut down here on the other gentleman that he wants to kind of go over. So we'll take a look at those, then I've got the neighbor to the north, or the south, excuse me, he's wanting me to look at his. Now tomorrow I'll be back up at the river. We're going to have a full day up there tomorrow, it's supposed to be the hottest day of the year so far. Heat index around 110, what they're saying tomorrow, so it'll be a lovely day to be working down in that mosquito infested dungeon. Uh, yeah, we're going to get these attachments off, and I'm going to do some cleanup right here where these logs are piled, because there's a bunch of end pieces and trimmings out there here i'll slick that up real quick and i'm gonna move some treetops around with the grapple back where i was but for now that's what we're gonna do here put it in go gear